Hi, Aquarius, and welcome to your full moon in Virgo read. I wanted to make this timely, so that's why I wanted to do it right now, okay? So a little bit just before this uh, full moon here. So let's take a look at what is going to be most important for you. Uh, you know, in terms of this time, you know, we'll find out, uh, you know, this is going to be a full moon spread, so specifically for the full moon. Um, and let's find out a little bit more detail about this, okay? So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at, you know, what has manifested since the new moon, uh, you know, the changes in your mindset that allows you to grow further, you know, towards an opportunity for the remainder of this cycle, you know, uh, and, and beyond. So uh, what's already in motion? What is it that we have here that's going for you? What is it we get? Okay, what do I have? Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> Virgo. All right. How appropriate, right? So I feel that what's happening right now is that you are focused in on being that alchemist in some sort of way. So for a lot of you in terms of the what you've been doing up until this point is really focusing in on, on, on creating alchemy within your life, okay? You're focusing in on shifting out of the old and into the new for a lot of you. And you are you're already, you know, kind of sifting and sorting on what it is that you want, what you need to get rid of. Um, you know, what is it that's going to take you to get to your dreams and goals or, you know, what's going to move you or move that, uh, you know, kind of move that needle towards what it is that you want to pursue in your life, you know? So it is about, it could be that you're creating organization and you're tidying your surroundings and the mind as well as your soul okay so this is ruled by mercury it could have to do with your work and your health okay um maybe putting work in order and things like that at this moment because that's what virgo is all about they're all about the work and order okay so you could aquarius be focusing in on that right now and also being a, a magical spirit you know spiritual connection you know to nature uh, and also the healing arts, you know, focusing in on natural remedies and having a deep connection to the planets as well as with animals. Now, when I when I get this card, this is about uh, this is focusing in on your sensible nature, your practical attitude towards your life and work, and your service for the common good. All right, and and just having very intelligent thinking you're being very sensible and but yet you're also spiritual you're creating some sort of alchemy okay so you're being of service you're you're being very hard working you're very analytical and i do get that if you find yourself nervous or maybe you find yourself very narrow minded or or uh maybe you're focusing in on mistrusting others or uh pettiness that would be in your reverse but I feel that you're taking on this energy of the full moon and shifting and sorting what is working for you and what is not working for you. Okay. So that's what I get coming through. It could represent a connection within your occupation or work. All right. Uh, it could be that it's, it's maybe a, a project or a task that you might approach with more order. So it's bringing more order to something. Okay. In your work, in your life, in your day to day, keeping track of things, scratching off that to do list. Um, you pay, they want you to pay more attention to that. Okay. To the details, pay more attention to the details and be more realistic and reasonable about that situation. You know, whatever that is for you. Okay. Um, let's take a look at anything else that comes through for you. What is it that we get? What is it that we get for Aquarius? What do we have? The full moon. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so perfect. Not only do you get Virgo's card, but you get the full moon coming through here. So this just tells me that this, you know, during this time is that, you know, the, the cycle has already begun and you're bringing about the changes in your mindset and it's coming full circle. So now that it's coming to this point, it's, it's, it's like almost like it's, it's coming to a, a you know, a, a some sort of ending and a brand new beginning because of this. So very, very beautiful. So I feel that this is an opportunity for you to uh, bring something to completion to fruition. All right. Uh, anything more that comes through? What is it that we get? Yeah, you're having inspired thoughts. You are 
having some a lot of new ideas you're ending something and starting new so with this full moon it is about everything that what's has manifested since the new moon take a inventory of the decisions and the actions and how you created a new reality and how you're bringing alignment now through organization and you have new thoughts that what they create new decisions right so you're you're, you're looking at you're, you're creating you're, you're making decisions differently like you're not trying to push something to go you are letting it flow all right you're letting it flow and you are watching it flow and you're being lighthearted and and there with that there's not a lot of burnout right and when you're organized there's not a lot of burnout what should, what is else that you need to know in terms of uh, another moon message i am magnetic to what i want and i repel what i do not want yes exactly like you're putting your your body mind and soul in order <laughs> i love it okay what is the truth that needs to be illuminated that is no longer hidden all right what's the truth that needs to be illuminated that's no longer hidden what is it that we get mercury wow your i get mind and speech all right so this could be is that you're, you are, are are focusing in on your truth right you could be focusing in on that now when maybe you're speaking your truth and you're no longer hiding that now this could be about this is the ruling planet um mercury is the ruling planet of virgo quite frankly and gemini too but it is it's all about an opportunity to it's a manner of speech being eloquent persuasion being very clever so you're being very clever and this is um shining the light to understand yourself and elevate your energy and healing so it wants you to be brave and look what is trying to come out of the dark so there could be something that needs to be said with eloquence a manner of speech to persuade or trying to be clever now this will be deception so that you're not in that but i feel that it's really focusing in on the 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 ideas communication your speech your thoughts um it could be also about learning new things new learning new theories logic okay paying attention to some sort of news in your industry but you're having you're understanding and having conversations intellectual ones and you're just learning more and more because mercury stands for your thoughts and ideas and your mental process so that is about your mental process and your mind and speech you're being very attentive towards that so what's no longer hidden is how you feel about something you're being brave and you'll say what it is that needs to be said that is aligning with your truth with eloquence and with empathy of course but you're gonna you're not gonna hold back okay you're not gonna hold back you're shining the light on the shadow and you're understanding that i think is very very key okay so yeah it could be that it's like your way of communicating thinking and learning is is could be illuminated so give me a little bit more on this for you what more do we have okay for aquarius your mind and speech are important the ace of moons wow this is the ace of cups so go figure you're beginning in a whole new way maybe on creativity this could also uh, indicate that your creativity is important, but also your 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 spirituality. Uh, this is a, a, a emotional awakening. It could be love. All right, so it could be for some of you that you are expressing your love or expressing how you feel about a love. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is coming through. Uh, anything more? What do we get? Look at lovers. Oh, there you go. You know, it's funny because Mercury is ruled by what Virgo and Gemini, and then Gemini comes out here with the lovers card, right? So maybe this is about expressing yourself about love and how you feel about someone, um, or you are have a new expression and a new way of thinking in terms of love. Give me a card on the lovers card. The Queen of Stars. This is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is focusing in on being very resourceful, practical, and sensible regarding love. And it could have to do with your, 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 and that's how you're thinking in a mind. And that's how you are communicating that to another person. Uh, if you're in a connection or not, or interested in someone. All right. So I'm going to pull a communication card because speech came out. Let's take a look at anything that's important for your speech. That's important. What do we get? 
breathe slowly and regulate your nervous system during essential times of communication. Oh, that is so absolutely perfect because the, the, the interpretation of the, of the card itself has to do with nerves, meditation, understanding, and conversations. And you're learning and you're learning and having, and, 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 and taking a look at your speech and thoughts and, and communication. So very interesting. Okay. Huh? Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, anything more in terms of your moon message that is important? What needs to be illuminated? It's about speaking your truth about something. Okay. I choose to take a higher perspective and widen my views. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. There you go. Uh, anything more that is going to be key? What else do we get? You're in a flow state. Yep. You're, it's about staying at high frequency and this is a, an opportunity to put your skills of speech and mind to the test. It's like you're in the zone. This is about you're in the flow state. You're letting things flow. You're going with the flow in terms of a situation. But at the same time, you're speaking your truth, but from a high perspective. Okay. And you're seeing the bigger picture and, you know, perhaps someone else's point of view. And like I said, could be dealing with a, um, could be dealing with, I get water, earth and air. Okay. Uh, could be dealing with that there coming through, but it's loving all of you. Let's take a look at what it is you need to release that's no longer serving you so you can move forward. What do we get? Ah, moon card, the sub old subconscious feelings. Okay. So this could relate to something of the sort that's really focusing in on old, you know, subconscious feelings that, you know, kind of feelings that aren't, you know, deserving of you anymore. Anything in the subconscious, okay? Um, it could be, you know, um, it could, you know, focus in on your instinct, using your intuition and your femininity. It has to do with the, the feminine side, okay? Um, yeah, this is saying, in what areas of your life do your instincts and your intuition lead you, okay? So you're releasing what's no longer serving you, and I feel that you're moving forward you know, towards what it is that you want. So um, the moon goes through phases, right? Like the new moon, the waxing crescent half moon, and then all the way to the full moon that we're at right now. And then you come back around, right? So you have inner and outer phases too, Aquarius. It, you know, you, the, the phase where change happens, uh, you know, the phase, the, the, the phase, well, I guess I just want to say like the phase change happens because the sphere of the moon is only halfway illuminated by the sun. So like, you know, I, I feel that the full moon right now is of course is opposite the sun and that's where it's at right now, but it, it leads you to find your way back to the new moon. So I feel that whatever that you've left behind was shining the light on as the phases since the new moon and now you're finding your way back, you know, to where you're at. Give me another card on this. I'm curious to see what this is. Uh, anything more? Your feelings and subconscious are coming into light. Five of stars, your understanding and the page of stars. Give me one more. Your understanding, the wanderer. Wow, this brings you back to the new moon. Wow, this is like the, the five of stars is all about... Um, Poverty, insecurity, um, you know, the isolation, struggle, or unemployment. And this is how you feel about that subconsciously and what's going on. And then I get the page of stars coming through. The page is all about a message coming through, a message being uh, about manifestations, about being goal oriented, about being dependable and loyal. All right. And this has you is like, I wandered for a while. I wandered for a while since the new moon, but now I'm coming back full circle and I'm changing my insecurity, doubt, uh, you know, my, uh, my way of thinking, my poverty mindset or some sort of way, unemployment struggle or hardship, rather than that be your focus, it's something that you can release so you can move forward and focus in on that positive page of stars. And again, that would be focusing in on your, your manifestations, your ambitions, being goal oriented, putting things in order and having inspired thoughts and expressing yourself as you go through. 
right? So you check in with yourself. So, so it's, it's very interesting. And then you get the wander, which is really, you know, tapping into what is your truth? You know, what is it that is your truth coming forward here? Okay. So you could be choosing to make a commitment in a, in a relationship in some sort of way, because we got that Gemini energy or a serious relationship or a marriage, or you're choosing what or who you want in love. And, um, the heart knows the way you're listening to your heart. And I feel that you are listening to your heart and the truth. So your feelings in your subconscious, changing subconscious, expressing your feelings are going to be, you know, something that uh, you're, you're letting go old ways of holding something in and you're expressing. You're letting go of old subconscious patterns and releasing those stories that get in the way regarding work, love or life. And now you're creating a new healthy mindset. And uh, again, inspired thoughts, you know, you're bringing yourself in alignment in some sort of way. Okay. And um, let's take a look at what opportunity is getting ready to emerge for you here. What do we get? Ah, an opportunity. And this wants you to know that opportunity is all about like opportunities in, in any kind of blocks in the way, you know, are, 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 are just, you know, are opportunities. Oppositions are opportunities for you to go deeper. All right. To go a little bit deeper into that situation. Okay. So, you know, to be able to move forward, it's like that, um, it's opposition is, um, is how do I want to say this? It's cause like, it's like 180 degrees apart and you know, like, like Aries and Libra, right? The, the, the opposites of that is, is, is tension. And, and it's almost like those are opposing forces. So when there's tension and, it, and, 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 and maybe opposing forces are, 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 kind of conflicting. You might see that, feel that within your system. Like I can't, I, maybe you want to go one way or another, or maybe that there is tension in opposites between you and another person in a connection. Okay. But when you consciously use the power, it's, this is an opportunity. Certain contradictions can kind of make a person more sympathetic and exciting in, you know, in relationships. Opposites are, you know, opposite people are known to have to actually attract. All right. So pay attention, you know, to the contradictions in your life that are most noticeable. And this is like you all, all, you kind of feel torn back and forth. What is it that you're feeling torn back and forth about? What is it that we get for Aquarius? What is that? Could be in terms of your work or a connection. The sun, a new vitality, Knight of stars, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. And nine of wands wanting to persevere. Should I break through and continuously push forward, putting in the work and persevere? Um, you know, there's some sort of the sun card, Leo energy, fire energy and uh, earth energy. So I feel, I mean, with the sun card, it's about positivity, freedom, success. So this is you, what was, what was tension is should I continue to pursue what I'm currently doing now or should I make a change? All right. So what does that look like? Knight of moons. That's the Knight of cups. That's actually moving forward. And this is actually, you know, uh, romantic. You, maybe you're letting go of being idealist about love and focusing in on what really love means to you because you've had a breakthrough and you put in a lot of work and you're persevering in what it is that you want. Again, person, place, or thing. But this is an expression of love. And I feel that you are now expressing yourself yeah, in, in getting the clarity. Remember when I said the mind and the heart? The mind and the heart. Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords. You've got the clarity about you know, if you know about expressing your, in yourself in some sort of way. What is a, what's that about? You've got clarity that you needed in terms of a situation. What else do we get? Heart and mind union. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Exactly what I was talking about. Yes, you've broken through. You've actually married the heart and the mind that is coming together. You've had a breakthrough. You're leaving the past in the past. And it's kind of like now you've got alignment. You've got harmony. That's why you got the sun card of joy. And, and this is why you got this uh, uh, page of, uh, uh, pa what is it? The, uh, the night of stars that's motioning forward. And putting in the work, the pro, the proactive work in the situation, but uh, and that persevering, 
expression and getting the clarity. So the height and mind, uh, kind of like the heart and mind come together. Now you're in your highest vibration. Woo, this was interesting. So in order to move forward, you had a perspective change. What opportunities are getting ready to emerge? Um, which, which is, you're actually here right now. These are, these are what's emerging right now, I should say. This is what's really emerging, the heart and mind union. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, it's like you forget the power behind the, the, what, what's really working for you. And sometimes we become distracted with our day-to-day -day goals that we forget that, that you know, that uh, uh, the breakthroughs and the clarities that you see, the tensions are opportunities. What else, what else do we have here? Sorry, guys, I have to look at this here. What do we have? South node, getting rid of old karma. Oh, my gosh. This is the message. Wow. This is reminders. I let go of my old karma. Okay. Get something that represents this, you know, and put it at your altar. And I've let go of the old karma, right? Because the south node is what it is that you've already completed, right? And the north node is your destiny here. Okay. So I feel that there's an opportunity for you to make some change and to push forward in a whole new way. So I feel that um, you're letting go of the past. Guys, this is all about letting go of the past of what you've learned. And what you've learned here is you've got the clarity and you're breaking three. And it might have to do, you know, with a, a particular, you know, situation in your life. Give me more on this. What does the South know? What do we get? Yeah, it was, it's always darkest before the dawn, before the breakthrough. Man, you've had a breakdown before a breakthrough. And now your heart and mind are, mar are, are married together. And that tension, there was a little bit of tension and then boom. You've understood. That's the clarity there, guys. You are ascending. You are dissolving barriers and you're having a breakthrough and you're having a major shift is in progress. What else? Yeah, focus on daily habits. Get the rest that you need, guys. Make healthier choices in love. You're making healthy choices in life. Have morning and evening routines that are going to help you through self-care and enjoy the journey. The fun is getting there, okay? Acknowledge the progress that you've made all the way up to this point. And, and know that you can uh, celebrate at this moment. It's time to celebrate. What do we get? I see the gateway is open. My pathway is clear. Look at this. And my journey begins. Look at this. You've cleared it out once and for all. This was a hell of a cycle, guys. You can now kind of take a little bit of celebration here, a mental vacation for a moment, be spontaneous, um, you know, really focus in on, on pushing forward and uh, going towards your goal and that of which that you want. Okay. Um, what else do we get? Loving all of you, loving and accept your inner side, your inner, which is your, you know, your inner and your outer, the dark and the light, your masculine and your feminine. You've married that deep healing, Wow. And the world, wow, the world was mirroring you. It's kind of like love. You find you have reached a point you love and accept your inner darkness. And you you have a, so much self-love. And because of that, you feel a lot more, you're, you're a lot more clear uh, with this mind and heart union. And now your manifestations are going to come a lot faster. So any or any other uh, universal uh, what does the universe say for you? What is the universe final uh, information for you here that's important for Aquarius? What wants to come out for Aquarius? Uh, any information? Whoa. Okay. Uh, let's just take what really came out first. What would love do? This card talks about, do you know why it's so easy for us in the unseen to quickly pinpoint your whereabouts? You leave behind footprints of love. Ooh, the universe. Wow. Loving all of you and loving and accepting your dark and your light. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you're looking for a personal read, click the link in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.